I'm not gonna lie to you, this thing looks the nuts when it's clean. Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today, of course, I'm joined once again by my 2018 Mark 7.5 Golf R. Bit of a mouthful, that one. Um, and today, I'm gonna be addressing something which really did stand out in the comments and messages and questions and everything to do with the collection day video of this car, which by the way, is approaching 50,000 views, which is amazing, so thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, that question is, why did I buy a Golf R? And there's multiple reasons as to why I did go for one of these. Uh, instead of say an RS3 or an A45 or any other hot hatch or any other car of that matter. So I thought I'd make a separate video explaining the different reasons and that is exactly what we're going to do today. So then, why did I buy a Golf R? Now there are in fact three different reasons as to why I bought a Golf R, but the first one is actually quite tricky to explain. Um, there's no other way of me really putting it other than the fact that I just love it. Now I'm not sure if you guys are actually going to be able to relate to this, but I don't know if you have one of those cars which, for some strange reason, you just love. Everything about it is perfect and you would change nothing at all about that car. This is that car for me. It's it's really strange. Um, it's actually slightly influenced by the other reasons why I bought the Golf R, which I'll get onto a little bit later on in the video. Um, but just kind of watching car reviews uh, on YouTube and stuff like that, just kind of learning a bit more about the car and what it's like, really made me love it ever since it was kind of released in the Mark 7 form. Uh, which is obviously the pre-facelifted car. This, of course, is the facelifted car, the 7.5. Um, but it's just a strange one, really. I just absolutely love the thing. Now, the second reason actually follows on quite well from the first, and that is kind of seeing them out and about, seeing them on the road uh, whilst you're going about your day, especially in this spec. Uh, I mean, let's be honest, Lapis Blue Golf R's are not exactly rare. This is the Golf R's signature colour, signature spec, and that is actually kind of the reason why I wanted it. But I just remember, ever since they came out, you see them on the road, and I always used to point them out uh, and kind of just admire them and think that they, they look really good. Uh, and then obviously that led into looking at how much they're worth and, and different things like that. It just sparked something. Um, especially seeing them in this spec, it's kind of really built the spec for me, thinking I want those wheels, I want them in gloss black, uh, I want the facelifted one, although I didn't initially go out there to buy the facelifted one. Um, I just wanted a Golf R, to be honest with you. <laughs> Seeing them out on the road really was quite a big um, selling point for me because they do look good when they're on the move. Now the third and final reason why I bought a Golf R is actually the main reason uh, and that is actually down to my dad. Now if you guys watch the collection video of this car you may remember I spoke a little bit about uh, some of my dad's previous cars and how he had a lot of the original um, Golf GTIs like the Mark 1, the Mark 2 etc uh, etc et uh, and I just remember when I was younger um, looking at you know like the family photos having a look through um, the albums of your dad's old cars and seeing his old golfs and kind of what he'd done to them uh, and it kind of sparked it from there because he really kind of explained his love for the golfs uh, and at such a young age that really did influence me quite well. Now obviously I wasn't around at the time to actually see the cars in person and kind of experience the cars in person um, 
but I, I'm sure you can understand where I'm coming from here. And I guess I'm just following in his footsteps, um, which is actually quite funny. Um, so yeah, that is the main reason as to why I kind of delve deep into the Golf world, I suppose you could say. I know that the Golf R and the Golf GTI are nowadays completely different cars, especially uh, the variants that my dad had. Um, but back then, the Golf GTI, the Mark 1s, the original ones, were the ultimate Golfs. And nowadays, I'd consider this Golf R the ultimate Golf. So it's kind of nice um, to, like I said, follow his footsteps. Uh, and it's actually quite a proud moment. So there we are then, a little bit of a different video for you guys today. Uh, I thought I'd make this video purely because I had so many questions about this matter that I just thought I'd make it in a separate video. But there we are, those are the reasons as to why I bought the Golf R and having done nearly a thousand miles in it now, I absolutely love it. Absolutely not regretting it one bit. And I hope you guys are enjoying the videos from the ownership experience so far. But anyway, that is it from me today. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.